Hello friends, welcome back to this video, the second paper that you might be given after the DV lottery interview. Today we'll be looking on the pink paper. And remember guys that the information that I'm providing here on the various types of documents is the general information that will be found on the paper. Depending on the embassies, there might be some various variations, but the overall information of the content will be the same. So without much further ado, let's dive into the paper. What are the content of the paper? Again, this document, you'll find it on the website that is under the video. You click on the website and then you'll find even much more information. In fact, most of the questions that you ask me, you'll find the answers on the website. We have much, much more content there. So the pink paper. The pink document is one of the colors of the 221 visa refusal document. And what it indicates is that there is an issue with the documentation provided in support of your visa application. This means that the visa officer requires additional documentation to make a decision on your visa application. When you receive a pink slip, it is crucial to carefully review the instruction provided on the slip and understand what additional document is required as usual. Whichever color of the paper you get on the refusal, read thoroughly through the document and understand the requirement. Of course, the consular will tell you whatever is needed, but this paper will in details explain the need. So we see that it is when you miss some other document. Like for example, if your medical results have not been submitted to the embassy at the time of your interview, then you can be given the pink paper. Let's go on and see other things or the other documents that by them missing will cause you to be given the pink paper. One of the common reasons for receiving the pink paper is the missing or expired passport. Remember, your passports, both yours and for your derivatives, have to have an expiration period of beyond six months after the interview. That is a requirement. If your passport expires maybe in two months after the interview or three months after the interview or under six months, then you can be given the pink paper. Or if your passport is currently expired at the time of the interview, you also expect to get this pink paper. In this case, the visa officer may request you to provide a valid passport before the application proceeds. It is essential to make sure that your passport is valid before you attend the interview. Before submitting anything attend or attending the interview, ensure your passports, they meet the requirements. Another reason is incomplete birth certificate. If the birth certificate is incomplete, there are some missing birth certificates or missing details on the birth certificate. You will be put to this administrative processing and be given the pink paper until you rectify those missing information on a birth certificate or the missing birth certificate. In this case, the visa officer may require that you provide a certified copy. So if you go without the certified copy of the birth certificate, expect a pink paper. And that's why I told you, ensure that you come with the original documents plus a certified one, a notarized one, for all those documents that require to be notarized. Don't skip any of them. 
And then the pink document may also be issued if there are discrepancies in the information provided on your visa. So if there are some minor differences, minor solvable differences inside your applications, then you can be given this pink paper. And also, if you come from other countries, like for example, South Africa, and you fail to provide your social media handles, your social media accounts, expect to receive this pink paper. So any discrepancies in the application that can be solved, they will lead you to receive the pink paper. I also talked about the delayed medical results. Maybe the medical examining center has not yet sent the results to the embassy. Then you'll be given this pink paper as you wait for the results to be submitted. In this case, the visa officer may require to provide the additional documentation or the support information for that case. And then it is important to respond promptly. That is the key take away for all these documents that we are going to discuss. You act as fast as you can. Don't make any delay because the more you delay, the slower your process will be. And then it says, in some cases, the processing may take longer than others. Essential to remain calm, to remain settled as you wait for the processing of this kind of 221G refusal. In conclusion, when you receive the pink paper, you may become stressed. Of course, it is a disturbing situation because your expectation is when you go for the interview, you go successfully and get the visa approved. So just be calm and comply to the requirements. Be careful to go through all the information on the document. Be careful to comply with them as needed. And I usually tell you it is good also if you submit your documents and you see some delay, it's good also to follow up, follow up your case. There's no problem with that. No one will punish you on doing that. And in conclusion, what is the summary of the pink paper? The reason why it is issued is when you have issues with documentation and discrepancies in your application. And the other one is, of course, when your passport is expired or your birth certificate misses some, something or you don't have the notarized documents or your medical examination has not yet been submitted, the results, that is the results of the medical examination have not yet been submitted and also some further documentation that are required in support of the information. That is the general conclusion of the pink paper. So these documents, again, you'll find it on the website, visit the website and read it through. Thank you guys for watching this video. As usual, you know the drill. Like the video, share it out, support the channel, subscribe to the channel, share it out, and let's meet on the next video.